Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how thanks to a trademark getting updated, we might have an idea on what Rockstar's next project could be. And unfortunately for many, it might not be Grand Theft Auto 6. So this was spotted a couple of days ago by some guys on Reddit, and it looks like Rockstar updated one of their trademarks for one of their older titles. And that title is Bully. So I'll leave a link to this in the description so you can check it out for yourself. This is what it is though. The Literally the trademark is Bully. You guys can see the serial number, the registration number. You can see the filing date, which was on July 25th, 2013. That has to be an update because Bully came out before that. There's a registration date of February 24th, 2015. And you guys can see there that the last status date was April 30th, 2021. So very recently. Now, I've gone ahead and highlighted the important things here because you might be wondering, is this really for Rockstar Games, Take-Two Interactive, or the Bully franchise? And it looks like the answer is yes, because under Goods and Services, it says that it is for computer games and video game programs, which that's obviously what Bully is. And its first use was on August 10th, 2016, uh, which is when Bully first ended up coming out. And then there was another one for entertainment services, namely providing online games, video games, etc. So this is clearly for Rockstar, and if it wasn't obvious from that, the current owners are Take-Two Interactive Software, Inc. And I don't know if this is important, but it might just confirm that that is truly Take-Two Interactive. You've got owner address uh, 110 West 44th Street, New York, New York, United States 10036, Legal Entity Corporation, and then state or country where organized Delaware. I, I don't understand like the trademark filing stuff because I've never quite frankly really had to do one before, but it looks like that is legitimately coming from Take-Two Interactive and Rockstar. And so with that right there, it looks like Rockstar is updating one of their old franchises, which we haven't seen an update to in a really long time. And there's been rumors and reports that Rockstar have been working on something new in the Bully franchise here. But I want to play devil's advocate just a little bit here uh, because the last Rockstar Games Bully Project was back in 2018. Again, there's been reports that it hasn't just been abandoned quite yet. And what's interesting is that trademark has been updated multiple times throughout the last couple of days. And if you actually look at the history of what happened, it was getting updated a couple of times in 2021 a few times in 2020, and then there really hasn't been anything since 2014 or 15. So it's been a minute. It's not like this thing is getting updated every single day. So it's like, why would we be talking about it if something got updated every day? There's certainly some significance to this here. Now, again, playing devil's advocate a little bit, there's no guarantee that this franchise is being worked on. It could simply mean that Rockstar Games is making sure the trademark is up to date, for any potential games and such that they might do. Now, I know there's going to be a handful of people watching this video that are like, no, 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 we don't want this. We don't want Bully. We don't want Grand Theft Auto 6. Well, first, I would say that Bully is one of Rockstar's most underrated titles. If you have not played Bully or the Scholarship Edition, I would highly recommend it. Now, sure, it's not as popular as Grand Theft Auto, and the, the numbers will tell you that. I, I think Bully has had over 1.5 million units sold. At least that's the number that's been reported online, and that might even be the original version, not even the scholarship edition. But still, those numbers pale in comparison to Grand Theft Auto V, which has sold 140 million units. Now, I know there's a lot of differences here. Grand Theft Auto V coming out on multiple different systems, it being a much newer game. So it's not exactly apples to apples, but 1.5 to 140 million, that certainly is a big jump. So needless to say, I don't think even if Rockstar is planning on doing something with the Bully franchise, I don't necessarily think that it would come at the sacrifice of another big title like GTA 6. I think that if Bully 2 were to come out, it would have to be released alongside another one of those big titles. Otherwise, I feel like there would be such negative publicity and backlash, even though the game would likely be amazing, just because right now everyone has their sights set on Grand Theft Auto 6. I mean, it really does seem like Rockstar can't do a single thing right, 
unless their announcement is about GTA 6. I mean, go look at their Facebook, their Instagram, their Twitter, their Newswire, wherever they present info to us. You'll go down to the comment section and you'll see that it is just filled with people asking, begging, demanding for anything regarding Grand Theft Auto 6. So because of that, I think that if a new game were to be released instead of that, it would receive so much negative attention and hate just because it isn't what people want. Even if the title is probably at the end of the day amazing, which Bully was, so another installment in that franchise would be fantastic. Now again, keep in mind that just because Rockstar has updated this trademark doesn't necessarily mean they're doing anything with it. This is something we've been monitoring really in the GTA 6 world as well because over the last year or so, Rockstar Games have actually been updating the Grand Theft Auto 6 websites like gtavi.com. We've even seen some other miscellaneous ones like Grand Theft Auto Vice City Online getting an update, which many people have believed that that means the next Grand Theft Auto game is going to be in Vice City. So we've seen stuff like that. We've also heard reports over the last couple of years that something regarding Bully is being announced or being worked on, whatever you want to ultimately call it. Nothing has come to fruition. As you guys know, there hasn't been any updates to the game itself. The only thing that kind of makes this a little bit interesting is this is getting updated close to when Take-Two Interactive, which is Rockstar's parent company, is scheduled to do their fourth quarter 2021 results, which is going to happen on Tuesday, May 18th, 2021 at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We've talked about this in previous videos. It doesn't necessarily mean that anything will be announced there, but could it be a coincidence that one of Rockstar's old franchise trademarks is sort of getting re-copyrighted or recertified, and it's coming right on the heels of a financial report from Take-Two Interactive. So could there be a connection there? I'm not sure. I always have this like cautious optimistic when it comes to the earnings reports that we hear because you do get some like Rockstar info, but as far as I'm concerned, there's never been like a, a big time announcement on one of these things. So it is something we will just really have to wait and see. Now, since that April 30th date, there has not been any more updates to this trademark, which to me indicates that Rockstar is probably done with it for a little bit. And really the last two things I want to end up here, again, just be cautiously optimistic. It doesn't necessarily mean it could be for a bully game. It could be for like bully music or like a t-shirt or something. I know that sounds silly, but it doesn't necessarily mean something's new. And also GTA fans, don't panic. I don't necessarily think this means Grand Theft Auto 6 is being shelved or tabled or pushed back for a title like bully. I think Rockstar is smart enough. Take-Two Interactive is certainly smart enough. They know where their big money makers are. That's not a slight to the Bully franchise, but 140 million sold versus uh, 1.5 million or some number around that. It's a big difference. And at the end of the day, Take-Two Interactive, Rockstar Games, they are in the business of making video games, but they're a business and their bottom line is the bottom line. And that is making money. So I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below on what you think of this, or you can reach out to me on my Facebook page where you can send messages, photos, videos, and more on this trademark and what do you think it means for Rockstar, GTA 6, etc. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.